Hello, St. John's and St. David's. This is Father Joshua and Pastor Terry. It really is us behind the masks. And we just wanted to come to you this week with a few more announcements and to say how wonderful it was to see all of you on Sunday, even though it was kind of chaotic and the weather was so-so. Uh, but we were able to celebrate the Mass and share communion with each other and with you for the first time since March. And that was a wonderful, wonderful thing. Such a huge blessing that uh, we were together and we are positively grateful that everybody who came, came with a mask and we didn't have to um, fuss with anyone or them fuss with us about it. So thank you very much for um, taking into consideration the safety for yourself and others. Uh, this week we are going to add a few things. Uh, hopefully we will be back in the um, Creation Chapel or the Unity Garden behind the church. The weather looks right now like it's gonna be great. Um, and there are circles painted on the grass and these are six feet apart from each other. Uh, so this is where your household will go into one of these circles and stay, kind of spread us out and feel a little bit more like we are in church than across the parking lot, although that was wonderful. Um, with that, there are a few things that we want to, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? To um, reassess, and one of those is signing in. This is something that the health department requires of us and the diocese requires of us so that we um, know who is there if somebody were to get sick or to find out that they were uh, COVID positive and had attended service with us. It's just important that we all know and can be tested if that is necessary. So that is why we sign in. That information does not go anywhere else unless that comes up. And my mask keeps falling down. <laughs> um, we keep that amongst ourselves. And uh, if you signed in last week with your phone number, you just have to give us your name this coming week and which parish you are part of. It's also helping us with attendance because mm -hmm. uh, we're not sure how many people are there. There are some people that are in their vehicles. There are some people that are in uh, the grounds. This is just makes things easier for everybody. So please, please, please sign in when you get to service. This will make things go much smoother. Along with that, um, we're going to work on improving our safety from COVID. And one of the things that uh, we learned this week, we talked with the Elkhart County Health Department and with the Bishop about this. Uh, the expectation is that uh, we wear a mask that fits over our nose and mouth and snugly to our faces. So Joshua's, I, I wore uh, the disposable one on Sunday because I feel like you can hear me better with it, um, but I do wear a cloth one most of the time. We have extra. So if you don't have one that you like, you can come. Uh, one of Joshua's parents' neighbors? Yeah, one of the friend of the family. Friend of the family made a bunch, so we have plenty to share. Uh, we know it's not comfortable, um, but we really want to make sure that no one gets sick because we're meeting together, because um, that would really dampen the uh, blessing that we're receiving when we get communion and spend time together. So please uh, help us out by wearing a mask that fits tightly to your face. Um, we have adult sizes and ch uh, children's sizes for ages 2 to 10 um, as well. That's the recommendation. And uh, the children's sizes have like Mickey Mouse and Winnie the Pooh, and they're really <laughs> great. Um, so they can be fashionable. This can just be your Sunday going to church mask. Um, <laughs> I don't like your Sunday dress. Yeah, I don't like your Sunday dress. <laughs> oh, it's sad. And, <laughs> uh, they're reversible. All the ones that we have are reversible. Uh, so you can wear either side and completely washable. They're really comfortable. Uh, this does kind of knock out uh, in our talks with the health department. Uh, face shields that some of us have and um, also the uh, kind of chin shield that just it's clear plastic and it comes up to your nose it does not seal over your nose and in our talks with the health department this is not uh, the best for our safety especially when we're in a large group and 
we are taking a risk coming to you with uh, the Blessed Sacrament. So for the sake of others and for everybody else, we ask that you wear one that covers your nose and your mouth. And as we said, we have those for you. Put on your Sunday best. And then another uh, just announcement, upcoming announcement we're planning on meeting outside, um, weather holding out for the foreseeable future. And coming up the first Sunday in October, we're going to have our regular mass, but we're adding in the blessing of the animals. So it's bring your pet to church day, <laughs> which we couldn't do if we were inside. No. <laughs> so, the carpet's uh, too nice, but the grass will be fine. The grass will be fine, yeah. So uh, that's the first Sunday in October, October 4th. We will have the blessing of the animals. So looking forward to that as well. So thank you for joining us for worship this coming Sunday and for um, being considerate and caring for each other. We'll see you Sunday. <laughs> Wave.